Hello my loves, I'm Tara. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to go over triangle pose or trikonasana. So I'll go over correct alignment with triangle pose. I'll show you ways that you can modify it and I'll show you common mistakes that people make. Also, if you guys are looking for a yoga flow that's designed for beginners, I have one that is about 20 minutes and I'll link that below for you guys. Okay, so for a triangle pose, your stance is going to be similar to Warrior 2, so your feet and hips are in the same alignment as Warrior 2, but the front leg is straight. If you want a review on Warrior 2, I do have a video on that and I can link that below. So your front toes are pointing forward, your back foot is slightly turned in, so you're at like a 45 degree angle. Your hips are open out to the side. So you're going to straighten your arms out. And with your front leg, it's straight, but don't really lock it out. You want to have a slight bend in your knee. So arms are straight out. You're going to hinge from the front hip. So you're reaching out forward as far as you can. So don't just collapse down. That's what sometimes people do a lot. You want to reach out forward. And then you're coming down to the floor. So you could either be on your fingertips behind the foot or you could be on your ankle here so your top arm extends out and you're going to look up toward your hand the tailbone drops down belly pulls in a little bit reaching up chest is open and it's like you're between two two panes of glass so the most one of the most common mistakes is that people their hips tend to shift back and they're here you really need them to be here so there's like two panes of glass that you're between. If you find that your hips are moving back that way, then using a yoga block can be really helpful. So you put the block on the inside of your foot. So you would go to here and then you're in your triangle pose. So this is kind of like bringing the floor up to you and that kind of helps you keep that alignment. You could also, without the block, be on the inner part of the foot here. And I always like to be up on my fingertips because I think if you're down on your hand here, then you're starting to collapse and it's really hard to keep that alignment and openness of the hips. So the hips are facing the front, well, the side of your mat. And you're here. Okay? So it's an active pose, but it's also a stretch. So you might feel a stretch of your hamstring on the leg, the straight leg that you're leaning over. But also, like I said, you don't want to be collapsing here. This is lifting up and the belly's pulled in. Deep breathing here. So that is your triangle pose, Trikonasana. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And if you have any poses that you would like me to review, you can let me know below as well. If you like this kind of video, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys have a beautiful day.